All right, Shalom. We are the Hebrew Israelites. We come in week in, week out, prophesy the downfall of America, also known as Babylon, the great city Sodom and Gomorrah. First and foremost, we want to give all praises to Yahweh, Yahushai. Double honors to the elders of GMS who grow well. And peace and salutations to the eye. Give them on the four corners, pushing this truth and sincerity. Peace be unto you. Uh, uh, Israel is, is the most high's uh, is, is the most high's favorite. We're above all the nations. We're not equal. You know, that whole uh, we're all equal, you know, we all, you know, uh, come from Adam. You know, we all come from Adam, but the most high divided us. You know, so the idea that, you know, the most high, you know, said, you know, you know, I, I, most high got his favorites. He got he got his favorites. Just like he got his his own uh he got his he got his own favorite uh, nation, and that's Israel. Uh, can you uh, get Deuteronomy seven and six from number one? I got thirty. Deuteronomy chapter seven, verse six. For thou art an holy people unto the Most High Yahweh thy power. The Most High Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, thy power, have chosen thee to be a special people unto himself, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. All right, so the Most High has got his favorite. You know, even inside the nation of Israel, he's got his favorite. Inside of Israel, you know, he loved his elect. You know, you know, then among the, uh, amongst that, you know, we got the 12. You know, you know, so the Most High is all about order. You know, he's all about, you know, not everybody's equal. Because if, if everybody's equal, you know, the, the 12, uh, the, the, uh, the, it's going to be in the kingdom. They're equal to, you know, uh, Edomites or they're equal. There, there, there'd be no order at all. You know, it, it, it doesn't work like that. You know, you can't, you know, just say, you know, you know, because th there, there'd be no kingdom. You know, there, there'd be no order at all if, if everybody's just equal. And, it, and it's, that's not the case. Exodus chapter 19 verse 5 now therefore if ye will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant then ye shall be a, a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the for all the earth is mine and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. To the children of Israel. He didn't say it to the to the Moabites, Ammonites, and all those people. You yeah, know the most. Sure it wasn't Esau. Hell no. Because the uh, Most High, you know, he said it, his covenant. Can you get uh, I think Psalms 55, I believe. I think Psalm, I think Psalm 55. But the Most High, he made his covenant with the nation of Israel. He didn't make with all his other nations. I can, I can bring it out. This is, uh, this is Second Ezra, Second Ezra six, and beginning at verse fifty six. As for the other people which also came of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing, but be like unto spittle. Thou hast likened the abundance of them unto a drop that falleth from a vessel. All right, that's a bold statement to say that uh, the Most High said you like spit. You know nothing you know just you just ain't shit you know he ain't say that about you know israel you know he said it about the other nation you know that you basically you know just discard waste you know and that's 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 clear that, that's not one of those you got to go precept up on here and a little bit there and you, you know the most high break he said that to you plainly and as, as boldly as it possibly could be so there ain't no other way to you know twist it or, or twist it up you know so you uh, this is Psalms chapter 50 verse 5. Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. Who made a covenant with me side by sacrifice? That was us. You know, it wasn't the other nations. Let's grab that. Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 8 when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance when he separated the sons of Adam he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel 
Right, so the, the most high is about separating. You know, you had uh, tons of, you know, false prophets that came and said, you know what, I see, I have a dream that all boys and girls are gonna come together, we're gonna hold hands, and you know, and we're, we're and uh, uh, we're, we're, I have, a, basically, basically I have a dream. You know, I think that's uh, Jeremiah 25, I believe. Yeah, right. 23 and 25 or 25 and 23? I think it's 23. Come. Can you get uh, Ezekiel, uh, I'm going Ezekiel uh, 13 and 16? Ezekiel chapter 13. 23. Verse 14. So will I break down the wall that ye have. 16. 16. So like verse 16. To wit. The prophets of Israel, which prophesied concerning Jerusalem, and which see visions of peace for her, and there is no peace, saith the Most High. Right, you got you got a pr prosperity doctrine. You know, you go to church, they will let you know that oh, uh, oh, God is for everybody. You know, God loves everybody. You know, and and it's a mean old Satan is going around messing stuff up, and you know, God doesn't have control over it. You know. Is you know there's gonna be a war in heaven one day, and then you know God's gonna finally defeat Satan, and then everything's gonna be you know crystal clear, you know peaches, and, peaches, creams, and uh, gumdrops and jelly beans. You know it don't work like that. Cause even in the even in the new movie, uh, Birth of New Nation, even uh, uh, Nate, uh, Nat Turner, he even said the Most High is uh, is, a, is, is a power of wrath. You know, so that clearly shows you. That there's something that everybody's not paying attention when it comes to the most high. Okay. And, and also the just the fact that he destroyed Egypt, that alone should be let you know that, you know, he don't give a fuck about other nations. 43rd. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and his neighboring cities. Destroyed his own nation. He flooded third. <laughs> everybody was catching up. Uh, you know, because uh, the one that's removing or, or uh, that's that's about bringing everybody together. It's the so-called white man, you know. And uh, I, I'll, I'll go and uh, go on to say that it's America, you know. Uh -huh. He's using America to bring everybody together. That's the reason why the uh, the Bible scripturally called America uh, spiritual Babylon, you know, because in, in Babylon all of the people are from one uh, language. This is uh, Isaiah 10 and 13. For he said, "By my strength of my hand have I done it, and my wisdom." For I am prudent, and I have removed the bounds of the people, and have robbed their treasures, and I have put down the inhabitants like a valiant man. You know, because the Most High, when reading uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 8, it says that the Most High separated the people, and he set bounds. But the so-called white man is trying to remove those bounds. Or this is Jeremiah 23 and uh, 25. I have heard what the people said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Right, that's talking about Martin Luther King right there. You know, he's prophesied in the Bible. You know, read that again. I have heard what the prophets said that prophesy lies in my name, saying, I have dreamed, I have dreamed. Right, you, I have a dream, I have a dream. Who was famous for the I have a dream speech? You know, that's, that's mm. Martin Luther King. And you know, the so-called white man does want to bring, bring us all together. But you know what's ironic? Is that you'll never hear those uh, Israelis, you know, trying to forgive or come together with those uh, the, uh, uh, Germans, you know, uh, Ashkenaz or, 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 or Tiedemann. You know, they don't, they don't say, oh, uh, peace, peace. You know, we need to come together. What about the, uh, the uh, Philistines, you know, the uh, Palestinians? Are they going around and say, hey, you know, we need to make peace? with the Palestinians, you know, let's, let's, you know, let's all come together, you know, those Israelis, those, uh, fucking gutter rats, they are, they're about separation, they're the ones perpetuating it, and they set up Jake to go and teach, uh, uh, false prophets, you know, give them money, you know, to teach, you know, hey, God loves everybody, let's come right. together, you know, if, if that was the case, the most high, that'd be prophesied in the Bible, but that's not it. Yeah, with that, uh, that Jew, you know, he's, uh, an Israeli, George Soros, you know who's funding the the, uh, the BLM movement? You know the Black Lives Matter movement. That's the reason why, when, whenever you see a, a, a killing happen with the police, a, a white officer killing the, a, a, a so-called black man, that's the reason why you always see Black Lives Matter there, because they're they're told to go there. 
they're 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 a setup and established by George Soros, who was a who was an Edomite man. That <laughs> hey, there was a killing that happened in Detroit. There was two killings back to back of a, of a so-called black man, black on black violence. They 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 killed a guy. Then they came back and killed another guy in the same place that they killed the first guy. A day after each other, man. And I, I didn't see anybody protesting. I ain't seen no Black Lives Matter. Why? Because that thing is funded and set up by by the devil. So so he he tell them where they need to go and protest them. Yeah. Uh, and on to that, if, if Black Lives Matter, if that movement wasn't present at the scenes of those uh, so-called uh, the scenes of those crimes, there wouldn't be no black people there. They'd just be sitting back and just watching. They wouldn't be processing shit. They they the yeah, Esau. The Lord has put the spirit on Esau to, to gather those, 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 these little, uh, these little groups of people and do that, so they can further uh, move to their next agenda, the next step of their agenda. Kind of. Cause Jake ain't about to go and protest shit. They ain't about to do shit. They about to go out Saturday night. They about to go and uh, uh, go and play some video games and shit, <laughs> and all type of shit. You know? And another thing I want to say about that Black Lives Matter stuff is that I've seen some Black Lives Matter where it's more <laughs> Edomites, exactly. white people, right. than so-called black people. What's the fuck's up with that? But here's the thing, like let's let's say if they're really concerned about you know uh, Black Lives Matter, if you look on YouTube, you don't see you know a bunch of you know white people you know saying you know oh that was a bad you don't see that's rare, but the ratio of white people you see in Black Lives Matter music is way disproportionate versus the ones you see you know who are on YouTube making their own independent videos about this uh, senseless act of killing or this is wrong stuff like that. That's rare you have, it. And, and a few times we do see it. You know we think they are a J. You know it pretty much got to be a J. Well, well, white guilt. <laughs> right. <laughs> like every every once in a while, you you have an Edomite that'll come past the camp and say, "Oh, that was that was wrong." You know what what was done to you to uh, to, to your people. You know that doesn't necessarily mean that they're that they are a Jake. They hey, that's just that's just the fulfillment of what Job says that children shall seek to please the poor. And also, we're in the age of uh, we're in the age of uh, politically correctness. You know, so Edomites know what the politically correct thing to say is when they walk by. Oh, I would never. My my grandmother, she didn't own slaves, and I didn't I didn't do that. You know, so there are gonna be some that that that'll be like that or say something like that. But in their heart, it's a whole it's a whole different different matter. Oh, wait, that's me. Thank you. May I grab this uh, preset? <laughs> <laughs> Go, go, go ahead, go ahead. This is First Maccabees, chapter 1, verse 41. Moreover, King Antiochus wrote to his whole kingdom that all should be one people. Wait, ain't, there's no new thing under the sun, so this happened again. Go ahead. And everyone should leave his laws, so all the heathens get, agree according to the commandment of the king. Right, in, in, order for, in order for you to get all along together, you know, at some point, you know, put it like this, as many, every every other nation on this earth, you know, got their own culture, their own step beliefs, you know, their own language, stuff like that, you know, they, it's, the Most High did a good job of dividing, you know, even the languages, you know, you know, divided the lands, stuff like that, you know, you know, there, you know, there's, you know, as far as like, even like far as talent, like basketball, sport, why you just completely just divided. Now, to actually try to bring everybody together, that's contrary to what the Most High said, but also to bring everybody together, also, it's, uh, that, that's, like, you, you, you'd have to, you know, s tell somebody, yo, you gotta put your laws away. Kind of like how, you know, that, uh, uh, what was that, the uh, Hebrew Israelite Summit, where they uh, came, they were all come together, like, oh, we're gonna put our differences to the side, no doctrine, stuff like this, you know, we all, we all Israel. You know, you got, at, at some point, you know, if you wanna bring all people together, you gotta say, okay, uh, no more eating those rats or bastards and eating shit, you know, let's put that to the side, or how about we wear this? I know every, I know the, uh, the standard is y'all wear what y'all wear, but you know what, how about we all wear suits and ties? You know, you gotta make your own laws if you wanna get everybody uh, together. Oh, uh, like when, when, uh, I would at HODC and when they went over there to Israel you know they had to take off their garments and they had to put on on, on yarmulkes right. you know no, the word yarmulke where is the word yarmulke in the Bible 
Yay, many. Oh, yeah. You got more? Yay, many also the Israelites cons consented to his religion and sacrificed his idols to profane the Sabbath. And you know that's Jake today, because Jake today, they circumcise uncircumcise themselves and becomes, you know, Americans today. You know, whether they want to get in a uh, what's it, Illuminati, whether they want to get in the Freemasonry, anything like that. You know, it's the same thing. This is Proverbs 26 and 23. Uh, burning lips and a wicked heart are like a pot chair covered with silver dross. You know, a, a burning lips and a wicked heart. It's like uh, something that's that's uh, that's that's uh, worth nothing, but it's covered. It's covered with something fine, and that's a, that's the way that the so-called white man appears when he when he comes before you. You know, and he's and he's speaking all of his different uh, 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 sweet words and his smooth words to you, but inwardly, it's it's he, he got something else intended in his heart. This is uh, verse verse twenty-four. He that dissembleth with his lips, and uh, and layeth up deceit within him, when he speaketh fair, believe him not, for there are seven abominations in his heart. Kind, because the, the most, uh, not the most, but the uh, Esau is just filled filled with iniquity, you know, from the top to bottom, you know. So he he has no, you know, the uh, his whole even his, his symbol, you know, he said. He said